Hi everyone, welcome to this video where today we're testing ourselves, is it linear fast facts? So we have two parts to this. First part is going to be about, is it a linear equation? You're gonna know that if you can put it into standard form, ax plus by equals c. And then part two is going to be rearranging an equation, a linear equation, so it is in standard form. You're gonna have 10 seconds or less. This first round is gonna only be five seconds each problem, and you have to tell whether or not it is linear, okay. Let's take a look. Okay, you're going to see you're going to have a five second timer. And once it's done, then you are good to go. Round one, is it linear? Yes or no? Is it linear? Yes, it's definitely in the form of AX plus BY equals C. A is two, B is three, C is six. Next one. Is that linear? Y equals X squared. Hmm, definitely not. The moment you see an exponent, that tells you it's definitely not a linear equation. 4y equals 8. Hmm, is it linear? Now, the answer here is definitely yes. And remember, a can be 0. If you have an a value that's 0, you don't even see the ax anymore. You just see by equals c. Remember, by equals c is definitely a linear equation. Here, my b is 4, and my c is 8. 5x equals negative 2. Yes, also linear. Remember, b can be 0. So if b is 0, you don't see any y in your equation because by just ends up being 0. So ax equals c is definitely a linear equation. a here is 5. c is negative 2. 4xy minus 5 equals 6. Hopefully you realize right away it's definitely not linear. If you see x and y side by side, that means multiplying, and that is definitely not a linear equation. 0.5x minus y equals 3. Now, this definitely is linear, but what we should know is that we should have a, b, and c being integers. And since this is 1 half, you're probably going to want to multiply the entire equation by 2. And if I multiply the entire equation by 2, I would get x minus 2y equals 6. But this is definitely still linear. So even though it's not in proper form where a, b, and c should be integers, we can force it to become that, and we're good. x divided by 4 plus 2y equals 6. Definitely good. This is definitely, definitely linear. Um, I can multiply the entire equation by 4, and if I do that, I would end up getting x plus 8y equals 24, which is definitely a linear equation. So dividing by a number is fine because I can multiply the entire equation by that denominator. x plus 2 over y equals 7. Hmm, definitely not linear. If you see you are dividing by a variable, it's definitely not going to be a linear equation. Round two, rewrite the equations in standard form. Now you're gonna have 10 seconds. Okay, standard form looks like ax plus by equals c. Ready, go. Okay, so you are rewriting this in standard form. One quick step. Okay, hopefully we saw all we needed to do was subtract 4y on both sides of our equation. So 3x minus 4y equals eight. Next one, y equals 5x plus two. Okay, so for this one, there's two steps. You could have subtracted 5x and then multiply or divide the entire equation by negative 1 because we don't want a negative a value. Or you could have subtracted y, sent it over here, and subtracted 2. No matter what, it ends up being 5x minus y equals negative 2. Negative 4y equals x minus 3. This can be done in just one step. Actually, two. Okay, so for this one, you would have possibly added 4y and then added 3, or you can go ahead and you could subtract x, but then again, you need to change the sides of the entire equation so that your a value is positive. Okay, so if you subtracted x on both sides, and it would be negative x minus 4y equals negative 3. Again, multiply or divide the entire equation by negative 1, so you have all those nice integers and a positive a value. 6x equals 3y minus 2. Just a nice one step. Okay, all we have to do here was subtract 3y. So it's 6x minus 3y equals negative 2. Now, this one here is in the right order, but think about it. All your integers should have, should have a GCF of 1. 
okay? So now for this, um, 2x plus 4y equals 8, it's in the proper form. We do want all of our a, b, and c, though, to have a GCF of 1. So if I can see, I can divide 2, 4, and 8 by a 2. That's what I want to do to put it in its simplest form. x plus 2y equals 4. Think about the same thing here. We want integers, so think about what you would multiply each a, b, and c value for. Now, you probably weren't able to finish this one, but think about it. If I have denominators of 2 and 3, my least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So if I multiply this entire equation by 6, I would end up getting 3x plus 4y equals 18, which means I have nice integer values for my a, b, and c, and I'm good to go. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful for you. Watch again and practice more. Bye.